Hello everyone, welcome to Tsuji This Week. I'm Duncan VIII and thank you for joining us. Tsuji continues to hold blessing ceremonies during the seventh lunar month to promote vegetarianism and environmental awareness. Tsuji helps a care recipient and father in Singapore as he struggles with his disability. Volunteers in Changzhou, China are also promoting the benefits of a vegetarian diet. During the seventh lunar month, Tsuji volunteers are holding blessing ceremonies across Taiwan to convey positive messages to the public and dispel superstitious practices, such as offering animal sacrifices and burning joss paper. Instead, volunteers encourage everyone to celebrate by offering prayers for world peace and observing a vegetarian diet to protect life and our environment. Let's join the blessing ceremonies in Penghu and New Taipei City. The seventh lunar month is about observing the right beliefs without sacrificing an animal's life or burning joss paper. At the blessing ceremony held at the Penghu Jingsi Hall, volunteers are advocating just that. They also feature an animated film titled The Kind-Hearted Monkey, which left a deep impression in seven-year-old Guo Manxuan's heart. We will all encounter difficulties at some point in our life. So we should never hesitate to help others. This way, others will be willing to help us when we are in difficulty. Then life will be filled with peace and blessings. Residents of the island are mostly elderly people, and many burn joss paper and make animal offerings during the Pudu festival. Volunteers here are working to change these superstitious practices. They prepare vegetarian meals to demonstrate the benefits for the planet. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian now. I no longer eat meat. A vegetarian diet has health benefits. Before, I struggled to walk, but I can walk now, and my skin is also glowing. Our earth will be a better place if only more people are willing to work together and embrace a vegetarian diet. Meanwhile, at the blessing ceremonies in Xintai and Linko districts of New Taipei City, volunteers are also appealing to members of the public to respect all life and go meatless. This is a really meaningful campaign. Although I'm not vegetarian, I will slowly reduce my meat consumption. A vegetarian diet is better for the earth. Consensus was reached at the UN summit to cut greenhouse gas emissions by 2030. I also hope to eat less meat. As members of the public come together to pray for good weather in the coming days, deep down they know they can all do more to make a difference. Tsuji's Malaysia chapter is promoting the seventh lunar month as an auspicious time to break people's previous superstitions. They asked Tsuji volunteer Lin Zihui and her daughter Su Mei Ling to tell the audience how they broke away from their previous superstitious beliefs. Tsuji volunteer Lin Zihui is over 70 years old. She traveled to Malaysia from Taiwan to tell everyone her experience in breaking her superstition. Can they receive the joss paper money you burn? People, when the money has become ashes, how can they receive it? Her daughter Su Mei also mentions that she was afraid of darkness and spirits for a while. But what the master said helped her find out where her fear was. I kept worrying that at night something would come. What was I worrying about? The sound was brought upon by the devil in my heart. The mother and daughter pair will hold over 10 talks within two weeks to promote correct religious belief. Tsuji Pahan Diyasan office is holding a blessing ceremony at SJK Pai Chap Elementary School in Kwantan. The volunteers perform a sutra adaptation on stage. Volunteer Li Kuan Si plays the role of a master, so he even cut his hair short. This boat needs someone playing the role of a master, so I went to get my hair cut short without hesitation. The volunteers promote vegetarianism and no burning of joss paper money. 
Who can get that money after we burn it? No one. We should donate it. It's better that way. The audience now learns how to celebrate this special month from this very special ceremony. Next, we meet a medical care recipient from Singapore, Yi Hun Chong, who was diagnosed with emetrophic lateral sclerosis in 2010. Now he can barely walk or talk. Knowing that Yi wants to see his children grow up, Tsuji medical volunteers have taken it upon themselves to help him with his physical rehabilitation to reduce his muscle deterioration. After a year of hard work, he has experienced significant improvement. Let's take a look. Breathing. 46-year-old Yi Hun Chong was diagnosed with ALS in 2010. In just six short years, his muscles atrophied drastically. Last year, in the month of April, uh, he is actually he was sitting in the couch and uh, he was not able to lift his head up and he can't move much. Yi's biggest wish is seeing his children grow up. He's still young. It would be a shame if we gave up on him. He has the motivation. Why don't we give him a chance? Wanting to help, a team of medical professionals visit E to assist with his rehabilitation, as well as provide the nutrients he needs. They are also looking into different ways to help his condition. The doctors came and saw how he could benefit from a breathing apparatus so he could sleep better at night. This hospital bed can be adjusted if he has trouble breathing when sleeping. After a year of rehabilitation, he has shown vast improvement. Although he still needs someone's assistance when walking, his footsteps are firmer, and he can walk further than last year. He never expresses uh a negative emotions or feelings about his illness. He gets a fresh air and uh, he can breathe in better. Now it's better. He can walk, can go outside. Last time I carry very heavy, but now he also helped me. <laughs> I feel happy. Manipulating a computer mouse with his feet, he types out words of gratitude. In dealing with this yet incurable disease, he is determined to do his best to live his life to the fullest with his family and Tsuji by his side. At a global conference by Global Green and Healthy Hospitals held in Yogyakarta, Indonesia, experts from 10 countries in Asia came together to discuss how to reduce waste and carbon emissions so hospitals can also become environmentally friendly. Experts from 10 Asian countries gathered at Yogyakarta, Indonesia, for seminars on health. They discussed what they can do to reduce the effects of climate change. Do not do our work on treating patients, but we have to work on also on the issue of climate change because we are big contributors in terms of energy use, waste production, chemicals use, etc. Show them how we do to put, reduce our energy use to uh, reduce our uh, waste and reduce greenhouse gases generated. Tsuji hospitals in Taiwan have been very concerned about how to reuse resources for years. Taichung Tsuji Hospital provides shuttle buses to transport patients and reduce carbon emissions. Which will help not only to reduce the carbon dioxide emission but also to help uh, the patient from delaying the diagnosis and delaying the treatment. The conference provides vegetarian food, overproduced locally. It tastes quite good, even though it doesn't have any seasoning. Tsuji set up a booth outside the conference, displaying clothes made from recycled materials. Tsuji people can teach us how to do recycling, just like how they turn the waste into fabrics. We also hope to learn it from you. <laughs> Practicing environmental protection in daily life, everyone can make the earth a little greener. Tsuji volunteers in Malaysia continue their environmental mission. Hitting the streets in the community, volunteers have been visiting school campuses to spread these concepts. In Klang, volunteers were invited once more to Xinhua High School to give a talk to approximately 530 students in the hopes that more of these young minds will join the ranks of volunteers protecting planet Earth.
Saving the earth is not up to one person, but the collective efforts of everyone. In Malaysia, Cixi volunteers were invited to Klang's Xinhua High School to host an environmental protection seminar for over 530 students. I am a science major. The concept of how much water is equivalent to how much food made an impression on me. It also made me realize that eating vegetarian food can be a way to save the planet. Environmental protection isn't just a slogan, but something to put into practice. Volunteers teach concepts that students can easily incorporate into their daily lives. Environmental conservation was something I knew about superficially. After a deeper understanding, I realized it can help save us humans and the animals. We can conserve water and save the planet. When you go home and take two of your old shirts and tell your mom these shirts are still pretty enough to wear and ask her to use it, that's the concept of reuse. After a previous sharing in May of this year, Cixi volunteers were invited once more by Xinhua High School in hopes that more students will respond to the environmental mission of saving planet Earth. Suji volunteers in Klang, Malaysia held vegetarian banquets in some communities to promote the benefits of vegetarianism. In addition, they also hosted a vegetarian fair at an education center where they replaced traditional Malay meals with vegetarian dishes that are much more nutrient-rich and healthier. Here's more. The food on the table includes appetizing curry noodles and turnip cakes, coinciding with the seventh lunar month. Zuji volunteers host a vegetarian tea party in Klang's education center and prepare a variety of meals. Among them, nasi limak, a Malay fragrant rice dish cooked in coconut milk with pandan leaf, is also replaced with new tastes to surprise the residents. There are many delicious foods in Malaysia, and all of them are tasty. This time, we replaced Malay traditional meals with vegetarian food to promote a meatless diet. Attendees will have many choices. After having their delicious vegetarian meals and hearing the benefits of adopting vegetarianism, most of the attendees reach a consensus that they want to change their original concepts of vegetarian meals. In my opinion, it's not easy to cook delicious vegetarian food. So from now on, I will try hard to learn to cook delicious meatless meals. I used to worry that a meatless diet may affect children's nutrition and their physical development, but now I think I will cook more vegetables. Apart from promoting the benefits of adopting a vegetarian diet in this education center, Zizi volunteers from Klang also head to some communities to encourage residents to embrace vegetarianism. They held nine tea ceremonies in Sentosa, offering many delicate meals. After learning how to plate food from the internet and practicing it at home, I come here to help do this service. I hope you will love vegetarian meals as well as adopt a vegetarian diet after testing these meals along with the vegetables and fruits here. In addition, some residents host a home gathering to invite their relatives as well as friends to eat vegetarian meals. After eating vegetarian food, I feel healthier and less tired. I used to feel a heavy burden on my body when eating meat, but now I feel better. Residents are receiving cards from Zigi volunteers which function as a way to encourage them to go meatless, hoping to put their ideas into action, not only for the seventh lunar month, but also for every day of the year. Also in Malaysia, Qian Yue Shan, a student at Butterworth Tsuji Educare Center, became a vegetarian at the age of four when her kindergarten began promoting the Veggie Land Passport campaign. She has been maintaining this diet for three years now. Even her mother and younger sister have become vegetarians because of her. Every vegetarian dish on the table is prepared by the grandmother with love for her granddaughter. None of my kids have had vegetarian food before. 
It began when Yue San went to this school that she began to eat vegetarian food. I went to the internet to find some information about vegetarianism and realized it is good for one's health. Jiang Yuan San was introduced to the Vegiland Passport campaign at the age of four, and she has kept it up for three years. She's a vegetarian, so I also go along. In the past, I always thought I needed to have meat in every meal, but now I realize it's okay to be a vegetarian. Now her grandmother and mother support her ideals. Chang Yuan Shan tries to convince her father and grandfather to become vegetarians. When I see dad, I always tell him not to eat meat because the animals will feel the pain. Dad must care about his health. Yue Shan doesn't eat any meat, but look at her. Her face is round and her muscles are strong too. Chang Yuan Shan's good health breaks the public's misconception that a vegetarian diet will become malnourished, giving the public a correct understanding about vegetarianism. In Zhangzhou, China, Tsuji volunteers are promoting vegetarianism by hosting a tea ceremony. The youngest participant was a five-month-old boy whose mother was already a vegetarian during her pregnancy. After giving birth, she also insisted on breastfeeding so her child would develop strong and healthy, demonstrating the power of a vegetarian diet. Lying in his mother's arms is this young boy who doesn't make any noise or trouble. He quietly listens to his grandmother, who is nearby, discussing the benefits of a vegetarian diet. This baby is only five months old and is developing well, a good example of the vegetarian diet which his mother adopted when she was pregnant. We have gone for two checkups and his development is very normal. On the last visit, the daughter said the child was developing very well and to keep it up. From grandma to grandson, three generations are all vegetarian, though it's not easy to choose such a diet as many pressured them to eat meat. Many people have expressed their opposition, but I'm such a staunch vegetarian, and I think there are benefits as I told them I used to go frequently to the hospital, but now I go less. With a healthy body, this family can more confidently promote vegetarianism. This young boy is the best proof of the benefits of such a diet as he rarely gets sick. At the age of just two months, he could start to roll over, which is relatively early, and at four months he could completely turn over. I have asked other mothers with children the same age, and they say that we are a little earlier than others, as they typically do this when they are more than five months old, but my child was able to do it at four months. This child may not be a special case. At this tea party, other mothers agree about the benefits of such a diet. They may be better physically and also in terms of memory. I feel like they are not so dull. My kid is 10 and we are both vegetarian. This woman's testimony is also quite persuasive. I have been vegetarian for 32 years. When I was 20 years old, I started, and now I'm already 50 years old. Not eating meat also means that one does not need to kill for food, potentially purifying the mind and keeping the body clean and healthy. A new mother's belief in a vegetarian diet was shown to be completely healthy for her unborn child. Despite objections, she stuck with a vegetarian diet and now her child is one year and nine months old, very healthy and active. This mother and her child continue to be vegetarian and live an active life. This child proves to be quite active when interacting with his mother. At the age of one year and nine months, Zhongyan has developed normally despite his mother's vegetarian diet, which she also feeds him. When I just became pregnant, I ate fish once and felt very sick to my stomach. From that moment, I said that I don't want to eat this stuff as being a vegetarian for me is the most comfortable as I don't feel physically uncomfortable. From pregnancy to birth and beyond, this mother and child have continued to maintain a vegetarian diet. This newborn weighed three kilograms at birth and was quite healthy, but many family elders remain unconvinced that the child could grow this way. Fortunately, the child's development and good appetite convinced many this was a healthy diet. He's good at looking at books and also likes to play. I think that he's quite active and lively along with being healthy. 
Even when he has a slight fever or is not feeling well, he's still in good spirits. While this mother and child are vegetarians, they cannot overlook the importance of nutrition, as this vegetable soup is one way for them to supplement their diet. A nutritionist also says that soybeans could be a good source of protein, and that a baby needs calcium for bone growth, which can be obtained from green vegetables. Traditional tofu is relatively high in calcium, so one can probably eat it at least once a day. And when it comes to the choice of vegetables, one should choose dark green vegetables which are split over two meals. Nutritionists remind people they could consume at least one egg a day and two different types of soybeans and a small tablespoon of roasted nuts. A diversity of fruits and vegetables can help a baby grow properly. A New Shoots Scholarship Award Ceremony was recently held in Shenzhen, China. For the first time, 68 recipients from elementary, junior, and senior high schools in the region received the award. The scholarship will help these impoverished children in their studies. As the teachers award the scholarship to these students, they give blessings of love to them. This is the first Zhiji New Shoes Scholarship Award Ceremony held in Shenzhen, and it has planted a love seed in every student's heart. The New Shoes Scholarship is very meaningful to these students. We try to take good care of them and encourage them to bring great value to their lives through hosting this ceremony. 68 recipients come from the elementary, junior high, as well as senior high schools receive this high honor. Types of the awards include Inspirational Award, Leap Award, and Filial Piety Award. Receiving the award encourages these students to study hard, as well as brings them great honor. I think the mothers here are very friendly. I also think that the ceremony is helpful for the children from impoverished families in remote areas. Zhen Fengping seems to see her past from the children's backgrounds and stories. I had also received financial assistance as a support for my education when I studied in a university. I couldn't have furthered my studies without the assistance. After attending the ceremony, I have a feeling of familiarity. The teachers share the touching moments with every student by performing sign language, hoping that every one of them can pass on the cycle of love. At the famous Jilong Ghost Festival that occurs every seventh lunar month, Suji volunteers accompanied the participants to clean up any mess that was left after the event. We'll leave you with these images and see you next time.